This is my chest, 11 years post top surgery. My last post-op video was at five years, so six years ago, and it has been about that long since I have been active in the YouTube space. And a lot's happened since then. I finished my BFA in film, got my undergrad degree, and spent a year working in television. Very quickly realized that that was not for me. I was more interested in the art world, the independent film world, and also in teaching. I realized that I wanted to teach. So I was lucky enough to get into the Stanford Documentary MFA program where I studied doc films for two years with some of the most talented, fantastic people I have ever known who I'm lucky to call my friends today. I finished four short films, all of which I'm fairly proud of, one of which went on to play at The New Yorker, which is still just wild to me. And I assisted alongside a bunch of other projects that I'm just very privileged to have been a part of. So that was two years basically just making documentaries and being out in the California nature. After I got my master's, I came back to Chicago to teach at my alma mater. I teach documentary production, I teach theory courses and a host of other classes, and I love teaching. I love being able to share knowledge and existing in a space with students who have a lot to teach me. That stability and income allows me to take on freelance projects that are exciting to me, whether that's because they're creatively challenging or they're for an impact or a cause that matters. I'm currently editing on a feature, which has just been a wild and very wonderfully challenging experience. And in the midst of all of that, I am continuing to make my own films, three of which are currently in process. The first is a documentary on Team Trans Twin Cities, a chapter of an all-trans hockey team located in Minnesota, which has basically just been a great excuse to hang out with very cool trans people. The second is a film on a trans saint from the fifth century. It's an experimental project that's been pushing my boundaries and comfort zones, and I have a few friends who are hopping on the ride and making it with me, which has just been a blast. And the third is a portrait piece on a very old friend of mine who runs a lot of Dungeons and Dragons games and is very, very good at it. When I'm not working on stuff, I live in a co-op with some of the handiest people I know. We've got chickens and a veggie garden and rats and a turtle and a dog and cats. I ride my bike, I cook, I go on the occasional adventure, I watch movies, I read, and life's pretty good right now. And I've been reflecting recently about what got me here and the path that I took to have the lifestyle that I do now. Like a lot of my students, my love of film did not start with cinema in the movie theater. It started here, in my bedroom, with a camera point at my face, making stuff. I hopped onto YouTube right at the cusp of the pre-influencer era, before we all knew that you could make money with this sort of thing. A cosplayer that I had been following because I was a big old nerd uploaded a video coming out as trans. It was the first time I had ever seen a transmasculine person and it was a light bulb moment for me. As a queer person, I feel very much held and raised by the somewhat underground online trans community that existed at the time. And I feel very fortunate to have been just a small part of that community with my own infrequent videos about testosterone and top surgery and my medical and emotional journey with gender. In many ways, my film work now is a direct reflection of that authenticity and that community that I experienced as a young person alone in my bedroom watching YouTube videos. And of course, from the early days with my flip camera to the documentary film work that I do now, my body has continued to grow and change with me. I'm 27 now, I'm 11 years post top surgery. I had the procedure the day after I turned 16 with Dr. Tholen in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This would make me 12 or 13 years since I started testosterone, somewhere in there. I'm at the point right now where it's difficult to distinguish what changes or things I'm experiencing are because of top surgery or tea and what is just growing and getting older and being a human in the world. And I don't know if it's really worth distinguishing those things. My emotional, spiritual, and medical journey as a trans person are very much a part of me now. Every sign of physical aging and adulthood that I experience is just another sign that I have made it this far. And beyond the physical stuff, my queerness was the catalyst for my art and my lifestyle and my politics, really everything about the way I exist in the world and with other people. Moving forward, I'm interested to just continue with this process and see where it goes and take this queer lens and see what I can create with it.
In many ways, YouTube is probably one of the, if not the biggest archive of trans experiences that we have, especially archives in our own voices, where it isn't other people speaking for us or to us or about us. And it's totally free and was created essentially through volunteers. And so today I am standing here comfortable, happy, exhilarated, engaged in community and feeling very, very grateful for this little online space and the many people who have put their stories and perspectives on it. Very grateful. Life is good. Life is continuing to evolve and change. And this is my chest. And this is me, 11 years post top surgery.